So the physics in Gary's mod has always kind of been a high point for me. I mean, they're not always the most realistic. You can certainly find some weird things that tend to happen. But what if those physics were even more jank? And that is exactly what we'll be taking a look at in today's video. This is the Cursed Ragdoll mod. Now, you guys know I hate that name, so I'm probably going to put some other thing in the title, because I've always said I'm not going to use Cursed, because it's honestly cringy as all absolute balls. But I also figured that this isn't really going to be much of a mod showcase. Obviously, it's a mini mod showcase, but you know what? I wanted to do something new, and we are on this amazing map, if you guys know, it's Andy's room from Toy Story, and there's a bunch of cool little things in here. Everything from the xylophone that actually makes noise when you walk over it. Even all the cool detailed boxes on the shelf. And like I said, there really are a few awesome things that are hidden around here, like these chattering teeth that I thought would do something, but sadly do not. Or even a yo-yo, or whatever this giant marble thing is. Now, of course, there are some cool secrets on this map, but there's also some very weird things, like... Andy, get your gun? <laughs> what? And babes in Toyland? Andy, what are you looking at, man? And then whatever the hell Rucka Chucky is and smurl, smurl, twist and twirl. Some of this is lost on me, but the bottom line is this is a really cool map with, again, a bunch of cool, neat things you can mess around with. If you're a fan of Toy Story or just ever wanted to be in this room, now you can, and this is beautifully done. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the mod at hand. And this is a really goofy mod, guys, so it's very simple. All you have to do is kill an NPC, and they will freak the hell out, act in so much different jank ways. Odessa, what the hell are you doing to that sock? All right, but what about Dr. Kleiner here? Well, same thing. Now, it's kind of... <laughs> Kleiner, why are you humping the floor? It's a little random what they'll do, but that's what makes this so hilarious, is you don't know what's going to happen. Sometimes they just glitch the hell out like that, and then they kind of just move around while they're in the air, which is kind of weird. Now, the thing that's unfortunate about this, though, is I tested this on a few NPCs, and I don't think it works on anything but the standard Half-Life ones. Even the basic Half-Life 1 NPCs don't seem to display the same characteristics. Like, even a human here. We can see he just falls back like normal. Old school Barney doesn't really do a whole lot. Now I was wondering, what if we had a bunch of NPCs together? What does it look like when you kill more than one? And we're going to go ahead and spawn in some Odessas here. See what happens when we kill multiple. Are they all going to freak the hell out? Well, from the looks of it, yes, they are. Now it's kind of hard to see all of them at once. But usually they just kind of, you know, move an arm around, maybe a leg. But of course my favorite kinds of ragdolls are when they just completely glitch. Like, <laughs> right there he almost like, separated. He also kind of flew there for a minute, so I wonder if it matters based on where you shoot. Oh my god. It's almost like he's breaking through the matrix for just a split second. Alright, so, what about- oh, oh, wait, Odessa, where are you going? <laughs> he was walking on air there for a minute, so... I, I did see a comment mention that. I think it's funny too because when they're flailing like that in the air, it kind of reminds me of the freefall animation that Nico Bellic does in GTA 4. I don't know why that just came to mind right now, but if you guys feel the same way, Nicely. let me know. Bro, that's a Half-Life 1 pistol. Alright, well he's going to hell just for that. Yeah, that was the gun you just had. Guys, and you wonder why I don't like Odessa. He's dumb as a rock. So yeah, this is just a goofy, goofy mod. One that's really fun. Oh, damn. Okay, so I honestly didn't expect that. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's so funny. I guess he's gonna just make his way under there. Now, what about zombies? They're from Half-Life 2, so it should work, right? And well, I'm happy to say, God, this is one strong zombie. For the most part, they do work. Now, sometimes they don't. I think when you kill the... Okay, yeah, there we go. If the headcrab survives, I don't think it'll work, but this time it definitely did. It's kind of creepy with the zombie. It's like he's still alive. All right, now what about the zombie with the torso? And... Ooh, didn't get anything there. Let's try it again. Oh, oh, oh! He's alive! All right, so yes, it does work. It sometimes can be a bit delayed. I gotta admit, though, if you're playing this and you don't realize you have this on, if you're just doing something, you turn around, you see this. 
That's kind of creepy. It looks like they're still alive. In fact, they're still going. Jesus. All right, now what about fast zombies? And fast zombies are, well, it's exactly like the standard zombies. It's just if you can kill them. They do freak the hell out. Um, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, if you shoot the head crab off their body or not. Oh! And yeah, just like the normal zombies, they're just gonna keep going. Although, interesting with the torso zombies, I don't think they ever stop. They just do this forever. All right, hold up, hold up. What if we pick them up? Oh. Yeah, no, they're still moving. You can even freeze them in place and they'll just wiggle their arms around. That is so creepy. Now guys, something I do want to mention here because it's pretty important if this is the case. Someone commented on this mod and said that there's malware. Now, the creator is Russian, judging by their name. And I'm not a big fan of the whole discrimination against, you know, Russians just because they tend to upload mods with malware. I don't find any other indication of how this could have malware. Um, I think the only thing they could do is have like a minor work in the background, which if that's the case, you would hear ads. I've been having this sit here for over an hour now. Haven't heard any ad or any weird thing, but just in case, I am not going to link this mod in the description because, well... I don't want to be responsible for anything if it turns out to be malware. Now, of course, I don't care if I get malware because, well, I'm taking the risk for the video, but I'd hate if my viewers somehow got it because of something I showcase. I just wanted to get that out of the way, but this is a really fun, goofy mod. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to see what it looks like. Oh, wait, Odessa, where are you going? All right, so vaporizing them, I mean, it... I don't know what I thought was going to happen there. But yeah, there's really not a whole lot to this mod. It's goofy, it's... Oh, God, how did he... Alright, I have no clue how he died. But if we kill a bunch of them... Oh! <laughs> he actually, I think he hit the fan. Guys, let me know what you think. This is just a really goofy mod. Sometimes these are my favorite. The ones that you never really know what's going to happen. Um, definitely try it out for yourself if you want to take the risk. Like I said, I'm 99% sure there's no malware in this. But... Just in case there is. That guy could have just been a troll, of course. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out this map. I will put this map down below because this is an amazing map. Links will be in the description. And you can leave a like and subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching and farewell.